Hi, my name is John Alzheimer, and I'm a credit expert who contributes to CreditCardInsider.com. Today's question is this, why can a credit card issuer cancel my credit card? It's a very good question, and this is something that started to happen with more frequency in 2008, at the beginning or the front end of the financial meltdown. More and more credit card issuers were canceling consumers' credit cards um, with little or no warning and with really no good explanation. And it really underscores a practice that has become pretty common in the world of credit cards, which is the issuer closing the account for one of a variety of reasons. So let's go through those reasons. So first and foremost, you have to understand that you do not have a right to a credit card, okay? It's not a fundamental right that anybody enjoys. You have to actually earn a credit card. And in order to earn a credit card, you have to meet certain standards or qualifications. First off, is you have to actually generate revenue for the credit card issuer. The credit card issuers are not nonprofit. Um, they're not giving you a credit card because of altruism. They're giving you a credit card because they want to make money from the relationship. And one of the ways that they make money is that you actually use the card. Now, keep in mind, this is not using the card and carrying a balance and paying interest. This is simply using the card. One of the ways that credit card issuers make money is through something called interchange or a swipe fee. Every time you take your card to a merchant and swipe it, the merchant pays the credit card issuer for the privilege of accepting that type of credit card. Generally, between 1% and 3%, give or take, of the transaction is paid to the credit card issuer as a fee. So it's, even if you just use your card, you're generating revenue for the credit card issuer. So that's one way they make money. If you never ever use your card, you're not generating any sort of revenue and it's very likely that they're going to close the account down eventually someday. So non-use, that's one of the reasons. Another reason why they can cancel a credit card, obviously, is because of non-payment. Um, credit card issuers don't care how good a customer you are, how good a customer you have been. If you stop making your payments, it's really just a matter of a very short period of time before they're going to close your account. Because no matter how good you were yesterday, if you're not making your payments today, then you're not the same type of customer you were in the past. So non-payment is another another way that another reason why they're going to close your account. Another thing that happens for non-payment is you also may forego all those rewards points that you think you have earned over time. Look in the fine print of your credit card holder's agreement, and you'll see that you may actually sacrifice all of those rewards that you've earned because you start to miss payments. Um, and last but not least, and this is probably the most common reason why credit card issuers will cancel your card is because of changes in your risk. So let's say hypothetically that you're making your payments perfectly on time with your credit card account, however you miss your mortgage payment or however you miss your auto loan payment. And by doing so, your credit score has gone down, either has gone down a modest amount or has gone down a considerable amount. The credit card issuer sees all. They can see changes in your credit score through a process called account management or account maintenance. Most credit card issuers will pull your credit reports once every cycle period or once every 30 days. What they're looking for is they're looking for adverse changes in your credit rating and adverse changes on your credit reports. And if they see something that concerns them, then they have the ability to take what's referred to as an adverse action against you. And an adverse action is something like um, increasing the interest rate or suspending the line, or lowering the line, or, in some cases, canceling the card. Now, if they choose to cancel your card because of something on your credit report, like a, like a credit score that has gone down or some piece of derogatory information that they don't like, then they have to send you a notice of adverse action or some sort of letter, but they don't have to do it in advance. They can wait till after they close the account down, and then they send you the letter notifying you that the um, that they've taken this adverse action, and the reason they have done so is because of information on your credit reports. So those are the three reasons why the credit card issuer is going to, uh, to cancel your account, either for non-use, which means no revenue, non-payment, which also means no revenue, or changes in your risk that are unacceptable to the credit card issuer. If you have any other questions pertaining to credit or other financial topics, then please submit them to creditcardinsider.com or in the comments section below. Thanks a lot for your time and have a great day.